we have looked into four, five or six methodologies, financial screens to pick up Sharia stocks or stocks in a Sharia compliant way. We would continue with our conversation on investing in shares and in this module, our focus would be on impermissible income. Why would we like to have a focus on impermissible income? Remember, the fourth financial screen in some of the methodologies was about impermissible income divided by total income, i.e. the proportion of impermissible income in the total income of the company. And these methodologies required that for any stock, any share of a company to be deemed as Sharia compliant, if it has fulfilled all other requirements, it must not have haram income exceeding 5%. What does this mean? This means if a company has got 3%, 4% or even 5% haram income, it is permissible for an investor to invest in that stock and that investment would be considered as Sharia compliant. This means that the 3% income is not haram, it is halal. Ho gai. No. Impermissible income should be purified. This is very, very important. We take a view on a stock just for investing viewpoint. If a company has got 3% impermissible in income, I can still invest in the stock of that company. However, when I get the dividend, when I get the return from, the, from holding that stock, I should be purifying that dividend from the haram income. So that is what we call as dividend purification. So impermissible income should be purified so that the net income received from investing in stocks of the companies with some impermissible activities is ensured, is ensured to be Sharia compliant. Please note that if the impermissible income is significant, if it's more than 5%, the share would be deemed as non-Sharia anyway. So in that case, investor would not be allowed to invest in that share from a Sharia viewpoint. So if impermissible income happens to be more than 5%, say if this is 7%, then the Sharia advice would be that you cannot invest in this stock because the income generated by the company from the underlying activities has more than 5%, 6%, 7%, 8% or 10% haram income. Dividend purification money should be given in charity. So once you have purified your income, where that money should go? That money should go to an independent charity. So this is important. Now the formula used for this dividend purification, Securities Commission Malaysia, for example, it doesn't specify a formula. It tells the investors to use a formula which is recommended by their advisor. However, in case of S&P Dow Jones Sharia indices, the formula is this one. Dividend multiplied with non-permissible revenue divided by total revenue. Now, for example, if this bit non-permissible revenue divided by total revenue was 3% and the dividend received by the investor was $100. MSCI Islamic Index formula for dividend purification is slightly different. So it says dividend 
multiplied with total earning minus income from prohibited activities plus interest income all divided by total earnings should be less than 5 percent. So, this is a more detailed formula as compared to S&P Dow Jones formula which was rather simple non permissible revenue divided by total revenue. In case of MSCI they actually define what they mean by non permissible income or non permissible revenue. So, it is total earning minus income from prohibited activities plus interest income divided by total earnings. This is the ratio which must be multiplied with the dividend. MSCI Islamic Index M series, they use dividend by multiplied by total earnings minus income from prohibited activities plus interest income divided by total earnings the same as this one. Then FTSE Sharia Global Equity Index, they have simplified the thing. They say whether your income, impermissible income is 5 percent, 3 percent, 2 percent, 1 percent. If you have picked up this stock, you will have to purify 5 percent of your income anyway. So, FTSE guys, UK guys, they are very, very simple in their approach, but I should tell you that actually this is something which is liked by a lot of fund managers because it makes their life very easy.